Are you slaying today, Ethan? A little bit. I think it's about goddamn time we get started. What do y'all think? Friends, friends, friends. I am a liberal, and I tried to make a hundred new friends at a Trump rally in Tennessee. But what I thought was wait, <laughs> wait, that wasn't me. That wasn't me. Oh, it's in Tennessee. Hell yeah. I didn't play the Obama sound. They played the Obama sound. Whoever's editing this fucking Jubilee video has got the fucking, they got the memes down. Yeah, it was like Ghost Obama. Also, pff, Jesus, I just looked at the fucking screen. There's Uncle Sam, there he is. <sighs> okay, what the fuck is Jubilee on? I don't know. And I tried to make a hundred new friends at a Trump rally in Tennessee. Obama. But what I thought was just gonna be like this goofy adventure. We were abducted by aliens. Really? <laughs> oh, awesome. I love that. Like the Jubilee producers are so like libbed up that they're like, yeah, let's like make friends with Trump supporters. And they're like, yeah, we're abducted by aliens and the aliens came down and converted Hillary Clinton into a lizard person. And now she must drink the blood of children to survive. <laughs> and it's just like, oh, I don't, you're just not real a person. You're not a real person. It turned into something much darker and it completely changed how I view America. Liberal experiences what conservatism is actually like rather than like conservatism through the lens of mainstream media, which whitewashes the fuck out of it and makes it seem like civilized. But let me back up. I live in Los Angeles, which is one of the most liberal cities in the country. I feel like in LA, some people are like, if you're a Trump supporter, I don't want to be friends with you. Would you fall into that camp? Yes. <laughs> when I tried to make a hundred new friends at UCLA, it went pretty well. I even made some lasting friendships. <laughs> but maybe it's easier because I'm in LA. What if oh, d why, how are we doing stick bug already? Are you really stick bugging me already? What about America at large, where it feels like we're more polarized than ever? So I wanted to try this experiment again and see if liberals and Trump supporters could be friends. No. I flew to Memphis, Tennessee and bought a ticket to attend a Trump rally, AKA the American Freedom Tour. And holy shit, these tickets are expensive. Oh my oh, God. And Malik is coming with me, but he seemed a bit nervous. How are you feeling about going to a Trump Yeah. Rally? Oh, fuck that. I'm not prepared for it. Any of that. Dude, his name is Malik. You can't go to, you can't step into the fucking borders of Tennessee with that kind of name. Like, they won't let you. Budget stick bug. Get stick bugged. This is fucked up. Trump rallies matter. It just, it, it, they don't even have to make sense anymore. I didn't feel prepared either. So to give our adventure some purpose, I created a quest list. I wanted to meet a celebrity. Ugh, what the fuck? What the f This looks like a nightmare. They didn't do What is this? They didn't do it right. They didn't do the spread art right. What is this? This is scary. Have a meal with a Trump supporter. Get a Trump supporter to invite me into their home. And since I'm entering the Bible Belt, I figured let's try to go to church with someone. That's crazy. This is like, this is just Borat, but worse. Boy got raisined. Yeah, they turned him into a fucking raisin. With our quest mapped out, I got ready to meet Malik for a 6 a.m. flight. We meet again. <laughs> Where are you guys from? I'm from Thailand. I love Thailand. Yeah, yeah that's me. A thousand percent going to have to do a montage with this truck. Oh. Fast life to fast living. They see the ambition, they know I'm past driven. Look, we are not the same, this is not a game. I like that they rented a truck free Malik. He looks like Freddy Krueger. All right, we can skip this. Nerves, I called my ex-girlfriend. Why? Hey. Like, I don't have any clue what I'm doing here. This is ex-girlfriend a Trump supporter? Like, what the fuck? You should probably walk around Memphis today to get a feeling for the city. It's like, you haven't talked to anybody. You don't actually know what the people are like. You've never been to this place. Get like culturally aware. Honestly, great advice. Quick question. Do you yeah. think LA or Memphis is friendlier? Oh, Memphis for sure. Why? Well, it's just friendlier people than Los Angeles. Do I it's wider people. <laughs> That's really what they mean by that. And I mean, you know, like the South is cool. Like, don't get me wrong. I like the South, but you know. Are we friends? 
No. I feel like the people in LA are assholes, Jesus. so probably no. Okay. Hey, I'm from LA. LA, because you can smoke more kush than. There you go. That's the fucking. Finally. Yo, you're drunk. Quit. Memphis sucks. I've lived here all my life. Y'all should come. <laughs> yeah. I mean, anyone I've met from Tennessee also says Memphis sucks. Come to the bluff tonight. What's oh. the, what's happening at the bluff? Never been to the it's bluff a on a Thursday night. This is my first time in Memphis. Of course I've never been. Sorry, Ask me another question. I was feeling a pretty Sorry, friendly energy. Yeah. So I told people what the heck I was doing in Memphis. I, uh, we have this show called 100 New Friends. Okay. We were at UCLA. We like brought 100 people together. Friend, friendship. <laughs> So now we're trying to do the same thing, but like I'm kind of liberal and I'm doing it at a Trump. <laughs> I'm kind of liberal. Brother, you're like an anarchist. What? <laughs> a liberal is like right here, like right around, like right around here is where like most liberals are. Like Joe Biden is like right around here for like the majority of his political career. Trump supporters are like way up here. <laughs> like, like literally like the complete opposite end here. This is not... <laughs> Like, these political compass tests are, like, bullshit anyway. But if you have to use them, like, this is not liberal. Hello. Trump rally. And you are not in the right city, my friend. I love Trump. He's just the first president we've had that's actually spoke his mind in a while. Hell Do yeah. you think, like, it would be hard for you to be friends with a liberal? Uh, for Scott, listen, they're, they are doing my man dirty. During these last few months... I've been trained by Al Qaeda. He spoke his mind. God damn it! Absolutely not. No. I, I, like I feel like a lot of people opinion. are too close-minded on that topic. They'll uh, kill an entire relationship over a political interest. Americans are great because like everyone's liberal and like politics ends at the voting booth. It begins and ends at the voting booth. And like the reality is that's not true. It's like you just don't want to be friends with somebody because they're a Republican because they love Trump. And it's like, yeah, you have a fundamentally different worldview. Like, I hate cops. I recognize how violent and psychotic they are. You don't. <laughs> Is that like, that's just, it's just a different world. Liberals are more like 100% like more against Trump supporters. That's bullshit. She's trying to say like liberals are more against Trump supporters than Trump supporters are against liberals. That's fucking bullshit. Trump supporters are against most people. <laughs> Yeah. Are you Trump or Biden? I'm, I'm a liberal. I'd be friends though. Just Imagine. Stop <laughs> saying you're a liberal. You're breaking these people's brains because they just don't only understand the label from fucking Fox News. Just like he only understands conservatism from fucking MSNBC. No, Trump's coming to Memphis tomorrow. I'm going. Oh, okay. oh. So you'll see me there. Probably won't come. You want to come? Yeah, I mean, yeah. Are you supporting Trump or Biden? Uh, Trump. You going to the rally? No. Hell yes. I'm going to be there. Oh, God. I mean. <laughs> she <laughs> she said, I'm troll for Trump. Oh, God. <laughs> what the interview's about. I feel like Trump's a genuinely good human being. How? How? How do you think that? How do you think things like that? I think Trump's a genuinely good human being. What? <laughs> Like, objectively not true. He's like a scumbag Hollywood liberal fail son. He has, like, he's fucked over more working class people than he, th this person in front of us, ever could. And I, and I guess that's the key to being a good person. You think he's sexist? Yeah, Trump? I'm, yeah. And that's what we've needed. <laughs> we needed somebody who's gonna speak their mind. You need to go to some other people. Yeah. But there was a silver lining to our night out. You wanna be friends? No. Nope. Oh, no, we got too many friends. Giving the match. Whoa. Lawler with a right hand. Cherry. The king. Lawler. Damn. It was pretty cool that we met famed WWE announcer Jerry Lawler, but I still couldn't shake the feeling that I was out of my depth. Do you think LA or Memphis is more friendly? Probably LA because people get shot in Memphis all the time. We were down here last weekend and, and three people got shot. <laughs> America's just fucked, dude. America's wow. America's so broken. Crime rate's high. It's Memphis. I love that. And then like, fuck it. These people are Trump supporters who are pro cop, and they're like fucking watching Tucker Carlson, who's like, the immigrant problem is spilling over into our major cities. The crime rate in Los Angeles has reached an all-time high as people are getting slaughtered in the streets. And you have to ask yourself, is this really the America that you want to be raising your children in? Here I have Republican Party operator, oper operative Debbie McGee coming to act like a regular citizen. Three people got shot, but we'll keep supporting people that allow it to happen. I mean, Biden's allowing it to happen too. It's not like the Democrats are doing anything about it. <laughs> hey, Cab, all cops are bulletproof. Try it out today. It's a joke. 
in Minecraft. This place is the most unsafe city in the nation. Just be I'm careful. To get Do you have a book? <laughs> I don't, I don't. I feel I'm like scared. the resounding advice from this trip has been Don't go to Memphis. Why would you say Memphis is not good? You cry. Memphis nowadays is number the one. The other day I New saw someone lines. with a Memphis. January 6th bumper sticker with a Blue Lives Matter flag like they didn't literally kill a cop that day. Nah, brother, that was Antifa. This is the most dangerous city in the country. This report comes as the Bluff City is on pace to surpass a record number of homicides. That's insane, dude. Like, and you don't hear about that shit. You don't hear about that on mainstream news because it's not a liberal fucking city. I'm sure it's got a liberal fucking mayor or some shit, so they blame it on that. In an effort to get some thoughts from the other side of the aisle. Like, weed's not even legal in Tennessee, you know what I mean? I decided to follow some sage wisdom I got the night before. Go to Rhodes campus. They're not Trump any anywhere near that school. I'd never heard of Rhodes before, but they said it really puts the liberal in the boards. The campus is beautiful, but there is no one here. Because we're all doing COVID lockdown, brother. They never went back. It's bullshit. We're like men piss. Hey, excuse me. Do you guys want to be friends? I'll be Sam. friends with you. What's your name? Ricky. Isaac. Isaac. Robin. Robin. Juliet. Juliet. Harrison. Harrison. How do you guys all meet each other? I'm about to go. Do you go here? Uh, no, I go to UCLA, actually. Turns out Ricky was an incoming freshman, super nice guy, philosophy major, liked to ponder about the world, and I had just stumbled upon orientation. Ready to meet the challenge mm. of college life. I met a lot of people from like both extremes, and yeah. uh, at the end of the day, I mean, that's not really what it comes down to. It comes down to like who they actually are. I just don't get into politics. It's not exactly someone's house, but we kind of got invited to dinner. I would call it uh, having a meal with a Memphis can you just like go to college orientations like that? Are you allowed? You just like showed up. We might not be able to get like a hundred people. We're learning a lot about Memphis. Excuse me, do you guys want to be friends? Yes. Sick. My name's Sam. Beatrix, nice to meet you. Sage, nice to meet you. Okay, this is cheating though. He's at a college orientation. You know what I mean? Like everyone's gonna be more friendly here. This is Malik. Are you guys friends? It's an open campus. That's a very strange concept to me. Like when I was going to college, I always thought about like, like if Caitlin Bennett just showed up, you know? She, she did that all the time. She would just like show up on college campuses. I'm pretty sure she still does. If she's not still pregnant or whatever. And it's like, you shouldn't be allowed to do that. <laughs> like literally known as the gun girl showing up on college campuses around, around Florida. That just shouldn't be allowed. Are you guys friends? No. Yeah. Oh. oh. <laughs> Beatrix. We'll yeah, be friends here. after stage graduate. Yeah. Okay. A few moments later. That's weird. Maybe she's like an advisor or something. They tell. I don't really talk to Trump supporters, and so I'm, I'm, there's a rally here on Saturday. A word of advice. I say tread lightly, not because these people are like super dangerous or like anything like that. I think the people that you are going to meet believe what they believe for a reason. Before you can have a conversation, you have to have an element of respect and understanding. Fuck that, dude. They want to kill people. <laughs> Do you think you could be friends with a Trump supporter? Probably have friends with our Trump supporters right now. But I also see like holding the beliefs of hatred is neg negatively affecting the person that holds- What the fuck is- What are they eating? What the fuck is that, dude? Broccoli, some chicken, just a fuck- What, what is this? And and what is it? Beans? This, this whole like corner of the plate look like fucking dookie. And this looks like fucking- This all looks like afterbirth. <laughs> holds those beliefs. The Southern experience is not a monolith. That's true. Like, you are probably not going to find a lot of Trump supporters in this area at all. Yeah, I, we went down to Beale Street yesterday and it was like 50-50. Uh, Trump, I'm liberal. I love Trump. So Beale Street is probably not super representative of Memphis. You might find like people. Yeah, it's also like a whole head of broccoli not cut. They just fucking put the fucking whole broccoli in there. Well, don't exactly vibe with someone from LA coming out with like fancy tech equipment yeah. to like talk about things. No, I mean like what are, what are you doing? What's up with this mic? Is this like a phone? Is this a like a selfie stick with the fucking la lav mic on it? It's weird. On uh, Saturday. I mean, I'm- <laughs> Broccoli is mid, cauliflower better. It's the same thing. Like the taste is so marginally different. It's like literally the same. It's just a palette swap. They're different. No, they're not. Texture, barely, barely. It's literally like a echo fighter. Cauliflower is an echo fighter of broccoli. Tell me you don't eat veggies. I eat veggies all the time. I love cauliflower and I love broccoli. 
Because they're the cotton fucking cocksucking saint. Cauliflower is better, the taste is not the same. In Italian, cauliflower is literally called white broccoli. Yeah, they're the same plant. Yeah, it's like bland broccoli. If you had a tiny clone of yourself, would you torture it? No. I'd send them on little missions. I'm doing Juneteenth things and I'm not gonna invite a white guy from LA. Like, think about it for like two and a half seconds and it will make so much sense. Match. Boom. A pineapple is not an apple. That's not even remotely the same. It's like saying a Fuji apple and a green apple are different. Yeah, they're different, but they're still the fucking same. Like they taste a little different, you're right. That's not a great example either. Coconut isn't a nut. L chill out. Cauliflower is broccoli, but broccoli isn't cauliflower. That doesn't make any sense. You would only torture no normal sized clones? No, dude. If I had normal sized clones, I would fucking make, make them fight each other. Right now we're at the hotel where Martin Luther King was assassinated. We must also realize that the problem of racial injustice and economic- <laughs> Why did, he, why, did he, why did he film it like this? <laughs> that face when you're learning about racism. <laughs> Economic injustice cannot be solved without a radical redistribution of political and economic power. Who's me? Mari. Mari. Sam. And they are the very people telling the black man that he ought to lift himself by his own bootstraps. As you see with the people around here, economics is a problem. Mm. And I mean, people are just people, which is why I just don't really think that politics is ever going to work the way it's set up because we just elect these people to represent us, but you can't represent Dude. everyone. How are you feeling, like emotionally? Like, are you okay? Yeah. 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 He's, they're so wet. Tennessee is such a humid area. Do you want to be friends? No. Can you put his microphone on the straw? Not even a little bit. Sorry, what? <laughs> nice to meet you guys. Do you want to be friends? Nah. Should we get another drink? What the fuck? We should get another drink. Let's get another drink. Are you with CNN? Do I look like I'm with CNN? You just do this to meet women, older women. Oh. <laughs> Holy shit, by the way, you're looking good today. Thank you. He's sweating after <laughs> learning about racism. <laughs> do you want me to meet you? Hey. I like the. So, sorry, I looked away. Yeah, you just do this to meet women, older women. Oh, do you want me to meet you? I like the horses. I think we like, I think we, this is Jubilee by the way, which I almost forgot because it feels like some random channel, but I feel like we ignore the fact that like the cops continually abuse animals. Using dogs and horses is so fucked up. I just vibing out. They literally only have horses cause it's cool. Cause they think it's cool. Out here? Yeah, I'm just chilling. What's your name? Jared. Hey, like they have, there are mounted cops in San Fran fucking Cisco. <laughs> like the word, like in New York city, like, what the fuck are you doing? Hey, y'all be careful down here, okay? Oh, Derek. Derek's sick. What do you think about, I guess, like, politics in friendship? If someone's a conservative in their politics... Yo, Ed Sheeran fell off. Politics, that doesn't define who they are. It probably more speaks to their background and, you know, ways they were raised. So, you bury people in Arlington. Salem, 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 Salem. You bury... Like, <laughs> I'm sorry, dude. I'm sorry. You dress like this? You really dress like this? Like you, you, you're fucking, you're in, you're in the military, right? You're a sailor, you're a little seaman and you're fucking fed dog shit. You're not given any fucking useful like skills. You're traumatized, you're fucking broken and bruised. You get out, you're fucking miserable with no job prospects. You gotta start your life all over again. You're fucking, Girlfriend you got engaged to when you were both 18 has cheated on you and left you and you try to like reacclimate back into society And it's like these these are the things the military gives you and they also make you wear this they're making Sailors must have degradation kink sisk There you look like a baby. What the fuck is this, this fucking stupid tie this dumb little hat? You're, you're dressed like fucking yeah, like Donald Duck's nephews. What's going on? You bury the sailors in Arlington. Is it spooky? You get numb to it all. Like, a, like, like the death. Uh, no, it's, 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 a, it's not a I mean, it's very nice. No, it's not. Saw your base pro hat? I just bought this one today. You just said base pro. Do you want to be friends? 
But we were base brothers. Sailors. How has your experience been? I'm just having a chill night. Malik, always chill. And then Sam. God, he's so wet. This is fucking Tennessee in a nutshell, dude. I swear to God, this is the South in general. Look at that. I just saw bare ass. No, 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 they were like skin toned. Uh, it's like a skin toned skirt. I this dude just went on vacation in Memphis. <laughs> like Woke up day three, nervous. <laughs> no sweat, hey, no, no, no. I'm just talking about how humid the South is. Almost seven and we are going to the Trump rally right now. Let's go. Is Brandon. You can hear the <laughs> is that Malik? Who the fuck is Brandon? <laughs> Chance from the, the crowd. Let's go, Brandon. I feel uncomfortable. <laughs> You don't know what's gonna go down. Who knew I would make it this far? They hated, they never believed me. Yeah, I would never do that. Man, Trump really fell off. What the fuck is this? We always like to set the tone right by starting out by honoring God and honoring country. To the flag of the United States of America. And then there seemed to be a call for friendship. Look around, meet new people, introduce yourself. Bro, what's going on? It's so empty. That a bit inspired. So I took the pastor's advice and decided. What the fuck is this? Trump fell off. To say hi to a few Trump supporters around the convention center. We Do you think Trump supporters or Biden supporters America are more friendly? He's got such a fucking lib narrator voice. He sounds like a vice journalist narrating constantly. Trump, why? Just all Trump supporters. No brainer. What do you Trump think? Trump supporters. We're American people. God fearing individuals that just love and support all aspects of the country. Trump supporters. Because they love family and they love God. I'm from Mexico, but I'm living in Canada and since 2005. Why are you invested in Trump? I highly respect President Trump. Have you heard? The fuck did he get there? What, what's going on? Raul, you're from Mexico and then you live in Canada. You skipped a step, brother. You're, he shot too, he aimed too far north. <laughs> Why do you live in Canada? Was it the fucking, was it the fucking healthcare? Like. <laughs> Heard some of the quotes that he said about Mexico. They're bringing drugs. They're bringing crime. They're rapists. <laughs> Come on, dude. Uh, feel anyway? Not at all. I'm Mexican and I'm leaving the border. And I think what he said about Mexico in 2016, I think it's true. Gas prices are going a lot better. Do you think that's like the main reason that you support him? I don't know what he's doing. Why do you think that is? Everything's going up, inflation. Do you feel like like uh, at home and like the Trump community? Oh, I feel definitely feel at home. I'm feeling a little weird tonight. I don't know what it is. I'm not high, I'm not drunk. What, this guy looks so weird. What is up with his proportions? He looks like Smeagol. Like, is he 19 or 90? He looks like he's from a PS2. He looks like he's from San Andreas. <laughs> what is going on? Yeah, he's got a little boy body with an elderly man's head. Are you from Memphis? Yes, I'm from Memphis. It is tough. C crime is very high. And <laughs> what are you? <laughs> a lot of people. Uh, Why is this hat not on all the way? What's happening to me? What's going on? I work and don't want to work and out looking for things to do that's not that's not good. You think you could be friends with a liberal? And offer it to the entire No, world. possible. So I'll be friends with everybody. Absolutely. I got a yeah. lot of friends that are liberal. This is a proud boy, and his name's Brandon. <laughs> Dude, you can't do that. You can't just go up to a proud boy and be like, let's be friends. Liberals. Got a lot of family that are liberals. Is that difficult at all or is it pretty easy? It's very difficult. Yeah. Yeah, imagine how they feel, Craig. I'm just trying to talk. Yeah. And they just get upset. Do you have any friends currently that are not family that are liberal? Like for conservatives, because they advocate constantly for the status quo, it's a lot easier for them to just be like, yeah, like let's just drop it. Let's just not talk about it. Don't try to change my mind. Because like they live the status quo, you know? No, this is Tennessee. I actually wrote a book. I don't call them Democrats. I call them Democrats. 
Oh, he's so... It's goddamn right, buddy. I, I would actually say I'm a liberal from LA, actually. To do that. What are your thoughts on LA? Now, turning to 2,000 mules, you know, this was a, a tricky topic because... <laughs> it's like, shut the fuck up, I'm trying to hear the... <laughs> The pastor talk about mules. Do you think you could be friends with a liberal? <laughs> do, you, do you think like liberals would do the same for you or no? No. Why not? Because they judge you um, before they get to know you. To our detractors, f you. <sighs> I talked to a student recently at one of our woke college campuses who said she is required in every class to introduce herself and to give her pronouns. Well, I'm Ted Cruz, and my pronoun is kiss my ass. Yeah, trigger warning, Ted Cruz. <laughs> Brown out. <laughs> yeah, whatever, you got it. It understood what I was trying to say. Anyway, liberals are so, liberals are so fucking, so intolerant, huh? Basket of oh, I can be friends with anybody, but just don't try to put your stupid beliefs on me. And I'm not gonna put my, if you- Like, you're not connecting with people then, brother. Like, I don't know what to tell you. Like, you should at least resonate with people's, like, understanding of the world at, at the very least, you know? Think my beliefs are stupid on you. Like, what do you think the best way is to, like, unify the nation? Bring God back. Stop trying to- There you go. God. Not Allah. God. Take them, take them, take them, take them, take them. Take it out of school. Stop your churches. You notice like how his idea of how to unify the country is just a bunch of stuff that he wants? I don't think America's that divided. Reality is I would say the majority of average American, we probably disagree on maybe four or five topics and, and that's it. I would actually consider myself like fairly liberal. I'm like he's close, you know? Like your average American's just like a lib, you know? Like that guy. I mean, that guy was like a proud boy. So yeah, it's harder to tell, but. From, I'm from Los Angeles, like. Born in Santa Monica. I live in Santa Monica. I'm gonna get a hug. There you go. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I like that. Bill. Bill, Sam, nice, nice to meet you. you. Firm handshakes. I felt the ice breaking. Like this was real flowing conversation. They knew I was a liberal, but we're still down to just chat. And we talked about a bunch of things, but eventually we went down a slightly different rabbit hole. Yeah, have you done a psychedelic before? Yeah. What are your experiences like? Five dollars, you can figure out the meaning of life. Huh. Out in the middle of the desert, seeing UFOs flying around yeah, Edwards Air Force Space. Do you happened. believe in aliens? Yeah. Uh, I believe in a superior being. I think everything designed to keep us questioning. Yeah, libertarian Trump supporter. But all we got to do is have faith in the Lord above and love one another. Do you want to be friends? Sure. Bye. I'm trying to learn how to be friends with Trump supporters. God damn it. God is an alien. I suppose that's one theory, I guess. Of course. Yeah. Sure. Why not? <laughs> oh, I don't care. <laughs> oh, what? How, like, what's this guy got going on in his life? You know, he's sitting alone, fully dressed. Like, this is like, it's like fucking, it's like an anime convention, but for racism. You know? Social right now. Sam. I oh, Sam. What's your name? I'm Terry. Okay, I got Terry. <laughs> I do. On the bus, by the way. You do? Yeah. Ready for round three. Oh, I guess 2016, 2020, 2024. Watch Newsmax TV. Thank you, Trump.com. Oh, hell yeah. How the fuck are you gonna end it with Ronald Reagan? Bro, you just showed FDR. You're gonna show FDR and then Ronald Reagan? You're gonna do my man like that? Oh, we almost missed it. One man epic enough to make America great again. Oh my, what is the fuck is this picture? This can't be real. America is not real. What is this? Why is he pointing? Featured messages. The world's largest American flag. 
Why? Thank you for all you do. You are loved. Praying for you. God has this. Never give up. Amanda Calvert Smith from Coleman, Alabama. I'm a mom of a police officer and our law enforcement nationwide really needs you. I voted for you in 2016 and I'll vote for you if you run in 2024. I know this country needs you at the helm of the sinking ship. Like, okay, dude, Joe Biden's been president for like 15 minutes. If fucking Trump's presidency really did all that much, it shouldn't be able to be undone so quickly. Like, I don't understand how conservatives can just, like, they don't have object permanence, so now that Trump's out of office, like, everything that we're experiencing now is the immediate fall of Joe Biden, which, like, of course, some of it is, don't get me wrong, but, like, not all of it. Like, gas prices specifically are not fucking Joe Biden's fault. It's his fault that he's not doing more to fix Nazi it. Germany and Joya. <laughs> My daughter Molly's with the Mesa police and was an officer with Brandon Mendoza in Mesa, Arizona. She's seen some terrible things in her 20 years on the force. She, what the fuck? She was a patrol officer, then a detective. She just left a 12-year assignment in SVU as a sex crimes detective. Now at 20 years, she just moved to headquarters to be an instrumental contributor to their nationwide recruiting team. One of the toughest jobs in law enforcement right now is recruiting. My son is with, uh, my son-in-law with the U.S. Marshals Fugitive Task Force, and my son is a gang unit patrol officer. God damn, this is a cop-ass family. Without you, I feel the rule of law and order will simply disappear. Well, he's not in the office right now, so. Like, it's a sinking ship, but without him, law and order will disappear? I know I'm debating fucking, like, 70-year-old fucking people who don't even know how to use the internet, but. I never thought in my lifetime that I would see this. See what? I pray for you and your family every night, Mr. President. Please run. Stay strong. We love you. What, what happens if I do this? Oh, please don't show my homepage. God has got you, President Trump. Oh my God, dude. This is crazy. Please email me a rally schedule at... <laughs> Here, I don't, should, probably shouldn't show that. <laughs> Aren't these wanting the one, uh, these ones wanting to, uh, aren't these the ones wanting to defund the FBI? Yes. Your impression's usually slab, but your southern accent is ass. No, 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 no. It's good. Thank you, President Trump, for all you've done. <laughs> My southern accent is just, uh, fucking Dale Gribble. America is a fucking fever dream. I know, it really is. The American people, it is very appreciated, very much. I'm on the Trump train for the long haul, hoping and praying you're back real soon for the, you're the real president. Mr. President Trump, happy birthday, and God be with you in spirit. Was this a mom and her daughter? God damn, dude. So pathetic. <laughs> Make America strong again. Massa. Mm. Make America respected again. Mara. Make America God fearing again. Magfa. We gotta really start being careful with what we do, what, what the acronyms we do. Should we submit a message? Magfa. It just sounds way too close to a slur. They do know that if the Christian God is real, Trump is going to hell. Fuck no, they don't know that. What about this? Should we should we send Trump this? Oh shit, fart on my roommate's door, ha. Huh? Did you see it? On the left side of the door frame, barely visible on camera, a white translucent mist shape slowly creeps into frame. <laughs> this is awesome! We gotta send it. Alright, and our message, um, President Trump, please see to it that this man is brought, brought of justice. Thank you. I have to create an account and donate? Hang on. I'm committed to this. What's my conservative name? Um, Rick Cassidy. Apric apricot. My my username will be apricot for, former seventeen seventy six. My e my email is Rick Apricot seventy six at hotmail dot com. Nice. Oh, uh, my message is waiting for approval. I mean, now proceed to log in. I'm not a robot, like a liberal. Here you go, Rick Cassidy. One message. It's pretty good. Yeah, can I have a tour of the bus? Go open the door and walk in. I don't care. That was nice. He should, st he should steal the bus. He should literally steal the bus. I can't believe he just gave me the key. <laughs> Trump was scheduled to come out pretty soon. He could have stolen the bus, dude. Then again, he might've gotten shot at, so maybe that's not a great There's idea. There's a ton of anticipation inside, but I Dude, Trump fucking fell off. Look, what is this? This is so sad. I had a chat to a few more people before we took the stage. I heard some commotion outside and I saw a film crew I thought I recognized. They were wrapping up some interviews, so I went over to say hello. Hello, how's it going? Uh, can I talk to you? No, not right now. I'm, I'm on a break. But, okay, but how long are you 
Oh, it's Jordan Klepper. Wild, awkward, weird. A yeah, break for. Uh, for a little while. But your whole thing is chatting to other people. Yeah, that, that, that's 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 my thing. Yeah. What happened on January. Oh, 6th? that's cringe. What, what happened there? I don't really know what happened on January 6th. Then what's the difference? I am not the commander in chief in charge of the United States. Doesn't matter. Well, oh, he talked to some of the same people. That's wild. That's so interesting. It's really awkward. It's really cringe the way he approached Jordan Klepper. Though. <laughs> I think that's an important detail. But uh, you don't want to talk to other people. I'm sorry, but yeah. thank you so much. Dude. That's so, that sucks. You you sound like you're gonna kill him. Thank All right, you. well, yeah, have a good one, later. Like, you sound like you're gonna try to kill him, dude. You can't do that. Just be like, hey, like, I'm with Jubilee. You don't know if you've heard of us. We're like a, we're like a kind of liberal media kind of thing. Also do, like, just chat, like a normal person. He's like, you don't want to talk to people? Your, your job is to talk to people, you don't talk to people? Like, you can have guns in Tennessee, man. Memphis is the highest crime rate. You were just talking about that. It's so weird. Jordan wouldn't talk to me, but maybe one of the Trump supporters that he was just talking to would be down to chat. I'm pretty sure that's a guy named Jordan Klepper. Basically what he does is he just clowns on Trump people. Fuck me, We get brother. so demonized. <laughs> Dude, she's so offended. We get so demonized. People always, people always trolling us. It's called we do a little trolling. Obama. The Republicans, if we say anything, they're like, oh, that's a conspiracy. You're crazy. Do you want to be friends? Sure. Okay, cool. But you know what else I believe? I'm also a Christian. There's a lot of biblical prophecy right now, mm. like being fulfilled. I think Jesus is coming back soon for sure. Hmm, interesting. I feel like conservatives have been saying that for a long time. I mean, Christians have been saying that for a long time. How soon? I think it yeah. could be this year, for real. Have you heard all the stuff about aliens here lately? I was talking to a guy I like decided about aliens. About UFOs. Yeah. You know what I think they're going to say? I think all the Christians, we are just going to disappear. And I think they're going to say that we were abducted by aliens. Are you excited for <laughs> yeah, You're all going to go to hell, man. That. I am very excited for it. Do you go to church? Heart. I do. Are you going tomorrow? Yes. One of my goals was to like go to church before okay. I leave. I could find somewhere for you to go. I go to women's class, but I could find. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, yeah. I'm not allowed. I'm not allowed to go to the men's sessions. Yes. Okay. A bunch of kindness yet again, and I was feeling a little bit confident. Maybe I had caught my buddy Jordan, the only liberal at this Trump rally, oh at a bad God, moment. Leave him alone. Leave him alone. So I went to go say hi to see if we could be friends. Do you want to be friends? I'm so sorry. Dude, you, you you can't. Oh, it's so cringe. It's so cringe. You can't. We're so busy. We want to be friends, but it, he's yeah. working right now, so we can't do interviews. My job is to talk to people. That's why I'm here. Yeah. Creating content for the show that we work on. Yeah. If that's your job, that's great. But my job is not to talk to you about that. My job is to talk to other people. He kind of represents what I think I like. am trying to not do. Literally. Oh my god, Jordan Klepper is good at exposing people's fucking dumbass opinions. Why would you not? You just don't want to hear it because <laughs> you don't know how to talk to them about it. Really, like people here have fucking lib alert, dude. Lib alert. Never heard of him because he exists within the liberal echo chamber. But, huh? <laughs> Who has he been talking to? Why is he speaking like this now? I don't know if it changes minds. It just like cements the your tribe or whatever. It feels. Oh, this is so bad, dude. This is awful. What is wrong with you? It feels like the politicians and, as usual, people in charge that are controlling everything are taking advantage of the people who have good intentions and have been kind people. Brother, the guy with the Trump van does not have good intentions. The difference between you and Jordan Klepper is that you didn't ask what his intentions were. Jordan Klepper will ask what they want to do with that van and then he'll be like, I want to run over Muslims. You just didn't get there. <laughs> God damn, I think he is getting indoctrinated. This is crazy. Everyone I've talked to has been cool. You can still find the views absolutely disgusting and I do yeah. see some of them that way. Politics is just one aspect of a person. <laughs> not the people at the Trump rally and not Trump supporters in general, brother. Like if you support fucking Warren over Bernie, I guess I can be like, sure. It's one aspect of a person. But you have to be right about some things. You know, there's a lot more to them. Maybe some of them are confused, but they're, they, they can still be kind. They're to you, white man! <laughs> uh. There are people at the top that are manipulating everyone below. <laughs> Fucking, now I don't like this video. I was kind of liking it, but like... I step back into the convention center. B be trans and talk to these people. See what happens. The fervor of the crowd was increasing. 
everyone was getting more and more excited that Trump was about to take the stage. Did the stadium so fill up yet? So on my way yet? back in, I ran into a few new friends. Uh, like, hey. Then I ran into Craig, and the conversation weirdly turned to Burning Man. Do you want to go? No, of course not. Why not? He's a terrible player. Oh, hell yeah. He's going to start talking to some QAnon folks. Really? Like you are building community from the ground up. Isn't that exciting? All the buzzwords. Oh, you're building community. Oh, yeah. But isn't Satanism. that what we're doing here? Like, we're building community, you're talking to people, like, like this is a community right here, right? I don't know what you're saying. But, uh... <laughs> Wait, why the eye roll? Why the eye roll? I'm... God, he's such a fucking, he's like a baby. He's a little child. I'm probably not using the same, like, like vocab that maybe, like, is more familiar, but I feel like we're talking- Okay, the stadium filled out, I think, a little bit. Uh, the same thing, right? What rubs you wrong about what I'm saying? It doesn't rub me wrong. Uh, but you rolled your eyes. Any, anytime someone uses that word. Community? Yeah. Yeah. Because it's too close to communism. You know, it's uh, you're trying to adopt significance. Is that what we're all trying to do? When I die, don't let me vote Democrat. My man really said there's very fine people on both sides here. That's what the fucking Jimmy or whatever the main guy said about these fucking freaks. This is probably gonna be like the most boring part of the video. He's gonna be watching Trump talk, the same normal stuff we always hear Trump talk about. I love that like the media, like when the election was happening in 2020, like they always use this picture of Trump, right? But like, he doesn't look like that anymore. He looks much worse than that now. Just throwing up a fist for Donald Trump, weird. Oh, there's Buddy. See ya, Buddy. The le the numbers are all fucked up. Wait, did this used to say 2020 and then he like covered it and then just slapped the four? But he still could have put it more to the left. It looks like shit. Hey, do you want to be friends? Do you want to be friends? What? What the fuck? Somebody come get their grandma. What the fuck is she doing at the Trump rally in Memphis? You want to be friends? Look, she's all by her lonesome. Yeah, my name's Sam. Helen, what did you think of uh, uh, Trump's speech? Oh, I loved it. Yeah? Yeah, I'm actually, I would actually consider myself a liberal. Um, They're so uncomfortable. Also, this shirt, conservatives have negative drip. I don't know what to tell you. Would you? <laughs> Talk to her. I, I need to get a Would you be friends with a liberal? <laughs> no. Why not? There you go. Hey, Holly. Oh, they're How's going to church. Sunday? Hell yeah. Okay, Dallas. Thank you so much for inviting me over yeah. here. Hello. This is like propaganda. This this video is fucking terrible. Yeah, Grandma noped out of there. I'm Sam. How's it going? I got some breakfast burritos and oh my God, also kolache. Okay. He's gonna literally be like, "Well, they gave me food. They were so nice to me." Thank you. Appreciate it. Hello. And now we're all new friends. So let's pray. Uh, Lord Jesus, we just thank you so much for this day and for this gathering of people, God. We ask that you would be glorified, that all that we hear and say, God, would um, just draw us closer to you. Lord, help us to love you and love the, those around us more. You know, I pray and thank you. Amen. Amen. So in doing so, Solomon said, okay, sure. And then he married 700. Uh, <laughs> just ran. I know. I heard you laughing. Yeah, we, we probably have to head out to catch our flight. Yes. But thank you so much. Yeah. How long do you think they were in fucking Bible study? I mean, come on. Yes, like yes. inviting you us into this world and yeah, it's, a... it's so bad, dude. It's such shit. I went to the women's Bible study. Maybe Trump supporters aren't so bad, and it's like, do you know why there's a women Bible study? <laughs> so women can learn their roles. Of course. <laughs> Thank you for inviting me. Yeah. Thanks. Ah! They're a fun group of people. I like that. Yeah. That was nice. And why didn't you stay longer? Why didn't you take a Bible for the road? It's super wholesome. <laughs> One time that people were just all happy. Let's head out. As Malik and I headed to the airport, I was reflecting on this whole trip and this whole idea of friendship. Malik and I met randomly at UCLA a few months ago, all because I asked him, hey, do you guys want to be friends? 
He could have said no, and so much would have been different. But because he said yes, it led to us traveling across the country and doing something that we'll both remember for the rest of our lives. This is literally, he just went on a fun vacation with his friend. This video is so bad, dude. The idea of walking up to someone and saying, do you want to be friends like we used to as children is so wholesome and heartwarming. No, it's not. It's weird and it's creepy, all right? There's a reason we don't do it. Yeah, I'd like to see a conservative try to make friends with 100 liberals. That's a fucking good idea. That's something I would watch. I know Steven Crowder's fucking losing out on content, so why doesn't he try to do that, huh? I'm so fucking glad this video's over. I mean, yeah, it was just was not good. It started off okay. I liked how he was like learning more about like how dangerous Memphis is and like how people think LA is dangerous and scary when Memphis has a higher homicide rate than any other city in the country. And then he like comes out of it like, yeah, these people are all right. And it's like, dude, I don't know. And it's weird that he brought Malik and didn't have Malik introduce himself to some of these conservatives because wouldn't have been a bad idea.